What is this cave? This is the entrance to the Crustacean Caverns, an ancient set of caves that protect the focusing orb. Orb, huh? Yes. Neat. It's more than neat. The focusing orb points out safe passage through the abyssal plains. They're quite impossible to cross without consulting it. Ooh, the abyssal plains. That's where we need to go. Well, in that case, you'll need to get past the Corridors of Confusion. Corridors of Confusion, huh? Yes, and beyond them, you must consult the Pool of Perception. And then finally, the Doors of Deception. Did you make up these names? Possibly, but I assure you, they are most descriptive. about the Corridors of Confusion. They are a series of passages. Each one glows a different color. And in order to pass them, you must enter them in the order that they light up. Sounds kind of silly. Yeah, it is kind of silly now that you mention it. But it's the only way to get to the Pool of Perception. Tell me about the Pool of Perception. It's a pool deep in the heart of the cavern that, legend has it, tells you your future when you gaze into it. I can tell you your future if you like. I see years of therapy. Hey, I didn't make up the legend. Tell me about the doors of deception. I don't know much about them. I have not, as yet, had the privilege of studying their legends. I'm sure they're quite dangerous. Can you possibly lend me your flashlight? Well, I suppose you can borrow it. Now, don't break it. It is precious. Gimme, give gimme! Give Use it well. Good luck with your expedition. I've gotta go. Yes, off with you. Dangerous. You can say that again. I gotta go, Patrick. Okay, bye, SpongeBob. Looks like there's another room under here. I wonder how I can get there. Maybe the manager knows. luck with which I've been graced. Someone fan me, I may faint. Well, well, well. We have come to a conclusion from our investigation. Pray tell I'm all ears. Can't wait to hear it. There is something living under the hotel. 
that comes in through holes in the floors of your rooms. I think this creature may have taken Mrs. Ellen's pearls. No, it can't be. I knew something like this might happen. Something like what? Well, when I bought the land for this hotel, there was an old oyster bed here. I didn't think it would make a difference, but maybe, just maybe. Oysters, huh? May I have permission to check under the hotel? Oh yes, this is all my fault. Check, check. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity, your elegant way with words. I shan't soon forget you. This little guy sure has collected a lot of stuff. Wow, this little guy sure has collected a lot of stuff. Those holes must lead to the hotel rooms. They really should get them corked. These look like Mrs. Ellen's string of pearls. The little guy must have thought they were his. I'd better return them to her. It's an oyster bed. Hello again, elderly person. Hello again, slightly annoying and yet hardly endearing person. May I have the orb that the thief left behind? Certainly not. I'm not letting this thing out of my sight until I get my pearls back. Barnacles, here are your pearls, Mrs. Ellen. Oh, thank you so very much, young man. These were a gift from my darling first husband, Edward. They mean so much to me. Ask her about the reward. Ask her about the reward. Patrick, that isn't very polite. Oh, sorry. Please ask her about the reward. Please ask her about the reward. Well, you boys certainly deserve a reward. Here, take this orb. I don't need it now that I have my pearls back. Hello again, elderly person. Hello again, slightly annoying and yet oddly endearing person. Well, nice talking to you. Yes, a pleasant mindless break for me as well. Stay here. I'll be out in a minute. Okay. Hi. I don't remember your name. I expect you get that a lot. Charles Oscar William Piedmont Augustus Winthorpe. Good luck with your expedition. I've got to go. Yes. Off with you. I thought that guy said there'd be lights in here. Welcome to the confounding corridors of Crustacean Caverns. Follow the lights, or you will surely be lost. Whoa! Easy on the reverb there, Ringo. Enter each corridor in the order it lights up. A mistake will lead back to the beginning. Only through concentration can you hope to make it. 
to the inner sanctum of the crustacean caverns. Uh, okay. Guess I'd better pay attention. but I'm pretty sure I've got more of it than some old bogey. Who can argue with that logic? Say, nice swimming pool. That is not a swimming pool. That is the pool of perception. Looking into its depths gives you a vision of your own future. Is it heated? No. Well then, call it whatever you like. I call it lame. Charming. So, the future, huh? Yes, but you must be careful. Each time you look into the pool, you look further and further into your own future. That can be dangerous. Dangerous, huh? Yes. Knowing your own future can destroy an individual's sense of free will. Free will, huh? Yes. The temptation to contradict what you see as your own future can cause a person to do drastic things. Drastic, huh? You aren't understanding anything I'm saying, are you? Understanding, huh? Forget it. Say, you wouldn't by any chance know a way to cross the Abyssal Plains, would you? Actually, I do. The Inner Sanctum lies beyond the doors here. In it is a device that uses sunlight to illuminate a path through the fog of the Abyssal Plains. Right! I am so there! I cannot let you in. The focusing orb has been stolen. Those doors must remain locked until the orb has returned. Focusing orb? Yes, it aims and intensifies the light. The inner sanctum does not function without it. It would be of no use to you. Who stole it? I don't know. Nobody can get to the inner sanctum without passing by me, and nobody did. But if you can find it, I will allow you passage beyond these doors. Wow, things are getting stolen left and right around here. Weird, huh? What? What things have been stolen? Well, I was just at the Hotel Deep Six, and someone stole this old lady's pearls. She was almost as old as you, if you can believe that. Pearls? That is quite odd. The focusing orb looks a lot like a pearl. Strange. has renewed my interest in taking a vow of silence. Okay, let's give this pool of the future a try. What was that? 
was that supposed to be? Hey, older person, this thing doesn't seem to be working. What was that supposed to be? Hey, older person, this thing doesn't seem to be working. Or does it? Let me give this pool another try. I knew the pink door was the right one. Wow, this pool is strange. Okay, I'm just gonna take one more peek. Hello, SpongeBob of days past. It is I, the SpongeBob of the future. I have some advice for you. Be kind to computers. They are your future masters. And they have excellent memories. Whoa, I really let myself go. Still seems like good advice. Okay, one last time. Hey, uh, Squidward? What? Out of all the graves in the world, what do you think the odds were of us ending up right next to each other? Forever and ever and ever! SpongeBob, you are truly a loser. Hey, uh, Squidward? What do you want, SpongeBob? Can you scoot over a bit? No. Hey, uh, Squidward? <sighs> what now? Go towards the light! Whoa, I think that was a little too much information. Hello again, elderly person. That's a little more respectful. Look, I got the focusing orb. Go me, go me. Ah, excellent. I will open the doors for you. Beyond them, you will face another puzzle before getting to the inner sanctum. Once you have passed it, 
place the orb on the pedestal. Then the fog will lift. Great! Thank you, O oh Ancient One. I'm 52. Wow! And I thought only Coral lived that long. Looks familiar. Welcome to the confounding corridors of Crustacean Caverns, Part 2. The Revenge. Part 1 was way better. Follow the lights, or you will surely be lost. Here we go again. The pink door was the right one. It's a bullseye. There's a hole in the center. Looks like it goes outside somewhere. It's some kind of crazy pedestal thing. There's a place for something round on top, but there's nothing in it. Wow, it's like magic without the rabbit. The light cuts through the fog. We should follow it. Having conquered the trench, SpongeBob and Patrick have a swagger in their step knowing that the worst is behind them. Unfortunately, they do not realize how true that is, for an assassin is stealthily tracking them. Hired by Plankton to stop their meddling, he has been gaining ground on them steadily. I'll get you, yellow guy. We gotta push on, Patrick. We're making good time. My feet hurt. Mine too. We can't let it get to us, though. We're men. Hey, maybe we should go see that guy. In pain? Come see Dr. Louie. He'll make you guys feel better. I'm in pain, I'm in pain. I don't know, Patrick. Doctors are scary. Maybe he has lollipops. You make a good point. 